Sparks wrapped around my body as I felt the signs of a probability storm. This was a big burden for a single constellation not of the narrative grade to bear. I thought of the records of how Chiak Jung Yung faced an army alone were exaggerated. However, rather than an exaggeration, the stories had been reduced. In fact, Chuck Jug Young had become much stronger than what was written in Earth's records after becoming a constellation. In other words, there were sword masters who would become nervous after just hearing about this constellation. Still, I had to endure it. If I couldn't withstand the spirit of Chuck Jug Young, I couldn't break the 100 days seal. Your status is currently sealed. Your main skills are currently sealed. Time remaining, 100 days. The 100 days seal, which could be carried out by the three highest beings of the constellation Hongik, was the highest grade seal that sealed up the target's abilities. Eat garlic and mugwort and endure for 100 days. Of course, the seal wasn't necessarily a bad thing. If I could eat garlic and mugwort for 100 days, I could receive Huanin's blessing and wake up the potential of my body. However, now I didn't have enough time. Han Suyung watched the garlic and mugwort pouring from the sky and asked, Hey, isn't it almost done? The power is so strong that it's hard to control. Just wait. I took a deep breath and controlled my magic power. Chuck Jung Young lent me strength in response to my call, but didn't say anything in his true voice. He just handed me some of his strength as if saying, Try it if you're confident. As a result, I had been controlling the story that had been running wild for 30 minutes. It seemed like my whole body would burst. I watched the grumbling Han Suyang and suddenly became annoyed. This is all because of you. This wouldn't have happened if you didn't use me as a shield. I didn't do it on purpose. Do you expect me to believe that, based on what you've always done? It seemed like many complaints had piled up and I couldn't help nagging. How many minutes had passed? Han Suyang slowly got fed up and shouted, Ah, I apologize. Yes, I used you as a shield. What do you want me to do? I wanted to say she was brazen-faced, but then a presence suddenly intervened. The constellation Abyssal Black Flame Dragon interrupts with a cough. The constellation Abyssal Black Flame Dragon says that Han Suyang never used you as a shield. The constellation Abyssal Black Flame Dragon says your death is your responsibility. Han Suyang shouted, Hey, you shut up and stay still. Saying unnecessary... What does he mean? It's nonsense. Don't worry about it. The constellation Abyssal Black Flame Dragon claims that Han Suyang didn't protect your heart to protect your Black Fire Dragon. My Black Fire Dragon? That's why I- <laughs> Han Suyang hesitated before starting to talk. I mean, Chun Wuchi's attack flew to that place. <laughs> I was so dumbfounded that I forgot the important situation inside. Han Suyang hesitated as she stared into my eyes and bit her lips. That you'd be a bit unhappy if you lost that function, so I shifted the direction. That's why it hit my heart? Well, there's such a story. It was an absurd story. Han Suyang didn't wait to see how I accepted it and added swiftly. No, I didn't have strange thoughts. Uh, don't be mistaken. The black flame dragon bastard was shouting that I should protect the whale. The constellation Abyssal Black Flame Dragon is looking at his, con his incarnation with embarrassment and agitation. I sighed lightly and said, I don't care about that. Just protect my heart well next time. Han Suyang made a surprised look at my words and nodded. An awkward atmosphere briefly flowed. Han Suyang seriously considered something and opened her mouth. By the way, Kim Dokja, I have a question. What is it? Why does he call it the Black Flame Dragon? That guy. He was very small when he was a child. Lee Suk Young was immersed in her memories as she gazed at the dark and desolate plains of the Dark Castle. How much time did it take to get here? There were no easy scenarios, and all plans were half distorted or broken. How many times had she experienced the crisis of death due to insufficient information? It was especially dangerous when I met Nirvana. The reincarnator, Lee Suk Young, never thought that such a being could exist in the world. Well, it was abnormal for a novel to become reality in the first place. She turned around and saw Chong Yongran, the incarnation of Joan Muchi. Your Majesty. 
Stop it with that title. Su Kyangshi. Cho Yongran had a complicated gaze. It is no wonder, Lee Su Kyung thought. Cho Yongran was the only wanderer who knew all her circumstances. You didn't need to fight him if you were honest about why you wrote the book. Being honest is harder than fighting, especially when it is between a parent and a child. In fact, she had the conversation with Kim Doctor because of Cho Yongran's suggestion. Cho Yongran kept pressing. Now is the age where he can accept the truth. He isn't the ten-year-old boy you knew. For me, he's just a child. It doesn't matter if he is thirty or forty years old. It's the pride of a parent. Pride. That's right. It was pride. Lee Soo Kyung lowered her eyes. At first, I tried to show courage. I tried to tell the truth. However, after I looked into his eyes, it felt like an excuse for me to enter his life. Reality was different from a novel. A wounded person might be saved, but a wounded person wouldn't heal that easily. I don't know if that child really needs the truth. Maybe it was what I needed. I didn't want to say I was a bad n- mother. She became crooked herself to protect Kim Dokja. She became like this as a result of her own love. Incarnation Kim Dokja will be killed by the person he loves the most. Lee Soo Kyung recalled the moment where she first heard her child's fate from Yoo Sung Ah. The fate of Olympus would surely be realized. The child will understand you one day. In order to b- find out how to save her son, Lee Soo Kyung gave three days and three nights to the founder's mother. Three SSS grade items were offered as tribute to Hong Gik, and she also gave 20 years of her life. In return, she was able to steal a line of fate that Olympus had hidden. If he doesn't go to the next scenario, Incarnation Kim Dokja can live. Lee Soo Kyung smiled. Have all the troops gathered? Yes, they're assembled. On the edge of the plains, the group of wanderers she led were gathered. They were all here because they believed in her. Lee Soo Kyung opened the main scenario window. Main scenario number 9, 73rd Demon King. Category, main. Difficulty level, SS. Clear conditions? You are eligible to participate in the last scenario of the Dark Castle. Gather four rankers to go up to the third floor of the Dark Castle and enter the final scenario. Time limit, 30 days. Compensation? 100,000 coins. Failure? Death. Your current Dark Castle ranking is second place. Only incarnations within the top ten of the rankings can challenge the final scenario with you. Lee Suk Young glanced at Cho Young Ran. She currently had two of the top ten rankers. They were Cho, Cho Yungran and Lee Boksung. In order to complete the scenario and challenge the final four of the Dark Castle, two more rankers were needed. Cho Yungran said, We are coming. <sighs> I'm not even going to cut this, I'm sorry. An army was pushing from the other side of the Abyss Plains. They came from Paradise. She saw a familiar face at the head of the army. Lee Su Kyung greeted one of the people in the opposing force. You sang Ashi. It's been a while. Ah, I'm really glad y- you're alive. Tokshashi. We can talk about it later. Lee Soo Kyung looked at the party across from her. From left to right, it is Lee Hyung Sang, Shen Yu Sang, Jung Hee Wan, Lee Ji Hee, and Lee Gil Young. She heard about Lee Hyung Sang, Shen Yu Sang, and Lee Ji Hee from Kim Doksha, but she had never heard of Lee Gil Young and Jung Hee Wan. Perhaps they were new people her son had recruited, regardless of the original novel. It would have been a lot easier if they were only original characters. Stupid fool. As a child, Kim Dokja did many unpredictable things. Therefore, Lee Soo Kyung had believed that her child would become an artist. The King of Wanderers. The voice came from the person she had been waiting for. It was the person she heard a lot about from her son while she was in prison. She never imagined she would see him in person. Yu Jung Hyuk. Supreme King Yu Jung Hyuk, the protagonist of the story, opened his mouth. Why did you want to see me here? I have decided to end this scenario. Yu Jung Hyuk glanced next to Lee Soo Kyung and asked, Are you also collecting the four heavenly kings? Four heavenly kings? 
You need four rankers to go to the next scenario, don't you know? Uh, Yes, that's right, I'm collecting them. I guess they're called the Four Heavenly Kings. I can't keep up with the trendy words of children these days. Yu Jun Hyuk's eyebrows twitched at Lee Soo Kyung's words. You have a twisted mind. You are a shrewd child. The eyes of the two people met and waves of energy bounced wildly. Just by exchanging looks, Lee Soo Kyung could get a vague glimpse of Yu Jun Hyuk's power. It was transcendent. He had to be at this level to be the protagonist of the story. Lee Soo Kyung took a short breath and opened her mouth. I want to hold hands with you. Let's gather the remaining rankers together. Rankers? Yes. Isn't your goal to save this world? You need the most powerful lineup of incarnations as possible if you want to clear the next scenario. I can help you. My sponsor is Founder's Mother. Yu Jun Kyuk's eyes slightly tensed up at the words Founder's Mother. However, it was just for a moment. The words that came out from Yu Jun Kyuk's mouth were completely unexpected. Where is Kim Dokja? Why are you looking for him? I heard you took him. So why? Lee Suk Young had a strange feeling at his dismissive attitude towards her suggestion. It was a stir- disturbing feeling that only a mother with a child could detect. She wondered, Surely you aren't going to include that child in your four heavenly kings? I'm not obliged to answer that. Your personality is exactly the same as what he said. Kim Doctor told you my story? He did. He told me a lot. She stared into Yu Jun Kyuk's eyes and Lee Suk Young's ex- suspicions increased. Lee Soo Kyung asked, "I heard that you handled the paradise achieve- you handed the paradise achievement to my son. Why did you do that? He can save the world if he grows stronger. Uh-huh. Are you going to use him for that?" Lee Soo Kyung deliberately emphasized a word. It was a relaxed tone, as if she already knew it. Then Yu Jung Kyuk replied, "Kim Dok is necessary for this word world. I need him." He will be my companion, and he will see the end of the scenario. Lee Soo Kyung's expression slowly hardened. Companion? The voice of her young son appeared in her mind. That jerk, he's a complete psychopath. He knows nothing but how to use people. He will do whatever it takes to reach his goal. This is strange. The Yu Jung Hyuk I heard about will never talk about like you. Does your family like to talk as if they know someone well? Yu Jun Hyuk pulled out his sword. It was a hard attitude that showed no more dialogue was needed. Give me Kim Dokja, then I will spare you. Lee Soo Kyung stared into Yu Jun Hyuk's blazing eyes and recalled her son's voice. Despite his many complaints, her son always looked somewhat excited. <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm really sleepy. But the story won't continue without him. Ways of Survival is such a novel. At this moment, enlightenment filled Lee Soo Kyung's head. Incarnation Kim Dok will be killed by the person he loves the most. Lee Soo Kyung realized the true meaning of this fate. She knew who would kill her beloved son. Maybe it was an insight Lee Soo Kyung was able to reach because she was, she was used to these types of metaphors and symbolism. I see. Lee Soo Kyung realized everything and laughed. <laughs> this wasn't her original plan. Still, the prophecy meant that the plan had to be modified here. I'm sorry, but I can't let you see my son. Why? A mother's responsibility is to control her child if he mixes it with bad people. Lee Soo Kyung's eyes were cold as she took out the eight-beaded bell. I have to send my son back to reality.